on in Papa Springs. My name is Jabari Snow, and I'm just here to let you know about the service. We got favorite scriptures, songs by NG. Youth Ministry had a great candy sip event. You will see pictures of that. We got a commercial coming up. Yes, a commercial. And a sermon by Reverend Ponder. And remember, please take the time out your day to go to the polls and register to vote. We're depending on you. Vote for me because I can't. Springs Baptist Church virtual service. We are happy that you joined us here today. Sit back and enjoy. Good morning, Papa Springs. Bow your heads and close your eyes. Our Father, O heaven, I name, a season come, and where we done honors, he have Lord. 
My name is Jordan Isaiah Stardew. My scripture is number 624. The Lord bless you and keep you. Hi, my name is Ariana Gaines, and I'll be telling you one of my favorite scriptures from the Bible. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Jeremiah twenty nine eleven. We learned this in Sunday school, the Roman road. If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in with all your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Romans ten nine. Therefore, there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Romans eight one. There is no one righteous, not even one, for all have sinned and fall short from the glory of, glory of God. Romans 3.23 For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Romans 6.23 But God demonstrates his own love for us, and this while we were still sinners, Christ died, Christ died for us. Romans 5.8 Thank you and have a My community needs change. Vote for me because I can. It starts with you. Vote for me because I can. Please help us save our country. Vote for me because I can. But my life is depending on it. Vote for me because I can. My ancestors fought and died for this. Please take the time to register to vote and go to the polls with the penny. Do it for us because we can. I'd like to talk this morning for a short period about the men's ministry here at Poplar Spring. Oh yes, 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 the door of the building is closed, but the church is still open during the work of the Lord. 
We here at Poplar Spring has a men's ministry that meet first and third Saturday virtually using Zoom. And we are teaching men how to restore themselves back to the Lord. As we all know that in the Garden of Eden, Adam fell by disobeying God. So this Bible lesson is about how men can restore themselves back to God by being back in their rightful place. We believe here at Poplar Spring is men are back in their rightful place in the home, in the community, in the church, then this world will be a better place for us to have a family, raise our children, and make this world better for all mankind. So you're welcome to join the men's ministry here at Poplar Spring and study manhood restored, man being restored back to God and his rightful place. Information will be on our website. Thank you, God bless you, and we look forward to seeing all men married, single, and later, if you have a boyfriend that he's not doing right, send him to Papa Spring, and we'll give him manhood restored. Thank you so much. Amen. Good morning. As you know, our Women Department program was canceled due to COVID-19, but we still want to make a report. We are asking all the women, please pay on your assessment of $300. And on November the 22nd, we will come together, the women with the 100 men in black, led by Deacon Green, and we will make our report. That is November the 22nd. Please make your uh, assessment of $300. And if you have any questions, Please contact Sister Carmen Johnson, uh, Sister Ponder. Thank you. Hello, Palmer Springs family. I hope you're doing well and staying safe. I'm reaching out to the men of Poplar Springs today, reminding you of our annual 100 Men in Black program, scheduled for November 22nd, fourth Sunday. While we won't have an actual program this year due to COVID-19, the business of the church must go on. So we're all asking for your assessment. You can join the $300 club, the $500 club, or the $1,000 club, or whatever your heart desire. We know some of us are going through some hardship right now, so anything you give will be appreciated. God knows your heart. You can simply give by going to the Poplar Springs portal, choosing other, put in your amount, and indicate 100 men in black. You can also stop by the church in person and use our secure drop box to drop off your assessment. And remember, when you earn, give. And when you learn, teach. Have a blessed day. Amen, we come to give God the highest praise. Sing with the new generation in us as we lift our hands.
spring it's again that we come to worship the Lord and we realize amen this morning amen this God has still been good and he's good all the time we just thank God for new generation they just showing out today but we know that the Lord is in the midst of it got a great trainer Mr. Bubba doing a great job him and brother Lee at Jay and then we got a New drama that showed up, amen. I tell you, I just thank God for what he's doing. Let me say that whether you know it or not, Poplar Spring is still standing. I want to tell you the storm is passing over, amen, out of why, amen, hallelujah. Come on, Bo. Mm. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah, glory, hallelujah, oh hallelujah, I know the storm passing over, hallelujah, thank you Jesus, hallelujah, glory, hallelujah, thank you, I know the storm, Pass it over, over, hallelujah. Listen here. One day, I was thinking about the law and all that he done for me. I had to say, so he's going to pass over, hallelujah. Can I get a witness? Hallelujah. 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 I know the storm is passing over. Hallelujah. Sometimes I'm up and then again I'm down. Sometimes I'm almost level to the ground. I know the storm is oh, passing over. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah. Glory, hallelujah. Yeah. I know the storm. Keep it going, Bubba. I know the storm is passing over. I know the storm is passing over. I know that the storm. Yes, I know the storm is passing over. I know the storm is passing over. Hallelujah. Let every heart say amen. Say amen, somebody. The storm is passing over. Hallelujah. This amen morning, this is amen our youth Sunday. And you can tell I got on my, amen, my sweater here representing the basketball tournament and what's going on, the championship. Amen. Mr. LeVon, amen, doing his thing. And Jay, are you a LeVon fan? Amen. But we just thank God for everything. I want to thank you this morning, Bubba, for, amen, being here playing for us. And 
I want to thank, amen, Sister Jackson, Curry, and all that, amen, that they do. And certainly, Pop Spring, you don't realize that all the work that is put into this is more than you could even imagine. So we thank God for everything that he's doing, and we thank God for the blessing that he's laying upon us. Amen. This morning, our message is coming from 2 Timothy 4 and 7. Amen. So we want you to know that there is a word from the Lord. The Bible says they will turn their ear away from the truth and turn aside to mirror. Amen. But you keep your hands in all, amen, situation. Endure hardship, amen. Endure hardship and do the work of an evangelist. Discharge all the duties of your ministry, amen. Then it goes on to say, for I am already being poured out like a drink offering, and the time has come for my departure. Listen to this now. He said, I fought a good fight. I've, amen, finished the race, and I kept the faith. And Paul goes on to tell us, he said, now there is in store for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day. And not only to me, amen, but also to all who have longed for his appearing. God bless the reading of these words for the good edification of our hearts, our minds, and our soul. Amen. I want you to look at somebody and say, never give up. Amen. Never give up. Amen. Paul is talking in this message to a young man by the name of Timothy. And Timothy had been traveling with Paul and Amen. And Silas and some things that he needed to learn. And Paul was letting him know that, hey, amen, I've, I've already done what the Lord would have me to do. But now, amen, you got to do what God will lay on your heart. But doing that, you're going to endure some hardship. You're going to go through some battles. You're going to have some trials and tribulation. But Papa Spring, in spite, amen, I have to always say it, uh, somebody that said you always bring up the virus. I got to say it because we are in the midst of it. And, and that's why I want to keep it on your mind. We got some people don't want you to believe that it's bad, but let me tell you, it's bad. Amen. But, amen, Paul said uh, he wants you to learn how to endure it. Amen. Because God is on your side. Now listen to this. I, I thought about it as I was studying, amen, Sister Jackson last week. It said many, amen, winners have reached success by climbing a special ladder called never give up. Amen. You can't win if you give up. You can't make it if you give up. You got to hang in there. He said, however, amen, there are also many who have, amen, lost, amen, the opportunity to achieve success because they gave up uh, too soon. And a lot of time, amen, things, I know it get hard. Eh? I know, amen, uh, you may feel like uh, I'm looking at our Falcons and, and I, 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 I'm almost, to be honest with you, gave up on them, but I'm holding on. I ain't burning up my, amen, sweaters or my jersey yet, but I'm holding on. It's hard, amen, but I preach it, never give up, so I got to hold on. My brother and sister, there are also many who have lost, amen, the opportunity to achieve, amen, success because they gave up too soon. But this can happen in every area of our life, amen, family, education, friend, work, or even service, amen, Perseverance is a key to victory. A lot of young children and a lot of young ladies and men uh, start college and work get hard. And Amen. Before you know it, they done gave up and dropped out. I remember a few years ago, been quite a few years ago now, 
Amen. Uh, I was talking to Sister Jackson, and she was getting ready to go back to college. And do you know she hung in there and achieved another degree? And that's because she never gave up. My brother says, this can happen, as I said, to anybody. Amen. But we got to learn to trust in the Lord. Amen. Got to learn to trust him. The Apostle Paul was a perseverance. Amen. He preserved. Amen. Despite of persecution and affliction. Paul went through a whole lot. The Bible said Paul, amen, was beaten. He was, amen, thrown out of windows and baskets. Amen, eyes all put out. and a whole lot of things happened to Paul. But Paul kept the faith and he kept holding on. So at this point in his life, he charging a young man by the name of Timothy. He said, you, however, know all about my teaching, my way of life, my purpose, my faith, amen, my patience, love, and endurance, amen, persecution and suffering. What kind of thing, amen, happened to me in Antioch, in Iconia, in Laetra, amen, the persecution that I endure. He said, you know about Timothy, you know all that I've been through, amen. And some of you all, amen, today and that's listened to me on, amen, YouTube, you've been through some things too, but you never gave up. You kept holding on, and now you have reached success. Are you reaching success, or are you going to make it through? And that's what it's all about. Even though this virus has taken out, amen, over 200, amen, some thousand people, I want to let you know, I'm still holding on. That's why I use the phrase, we're still standing. Because we know that all things works together for the good of them that love the Lord. Yeah. Yet the Lord reward me, amen, with all of these things going on. He said, I've been doing a lot. I've been through a lot. He said, but yet the Lord rescued me, amen, from all of them. All the stuff I went through, but clearly the Lord still took care of me. The Apostle Paul, he preserved despite of persecution and affliction. He viewed life with a rim of recognition that as followers of Christ, we will suffer persecution. Now, let me say this. I'm going to put a pen in there. If you're going to be a child of God, you're going to go through something. The Bible said, because I suffer, you're going to suffer also. And if you're going to be a child of God, amen, and you got thin skin, Amen. Back up. You got to be tough. You got to be rough. And you got to hang in there. Because we know that the Lord is going to fight your battle if you just stand still. So he said, I've endured suffering. I've endured persecution. But, amen, he instructed Timothy, amen, to place his faith in God and the encouragement of the scripture. In other words, Read the scripture, search the scripture, and stand on God's word. My brother and sister, we got to take a stand. Even though trials may come on every side, amen, we got to take a stand. Doing so well, amen, amen, the Bible said he himself, amen, the Bible said Paul, he faced discouragement and endured with hope, amen, doing so. Amen. He realized it would help him face all the stuff that he had to go through. At the end of his life, Paul said a word that I use a lot of time and minister use at home going. And that word is, he said, I have kept, amen, the faith. Yes, sir. First, he said, I fought a good fight. And my brother and sister, it's good to fight a good fight. Never will forget, and I'm going to move on. I was at school one day, Brooke Curry, one of the meanest boys in school, amen, uh, had told somebody he's going to jump on me. And I was afraid, didn't know what to do. And uh, that afternoon, uh, that morning, uh, I got off my school bus. He met me in the hall, and he told me what he was going to do. And trust me, he did. He slapped me so hard. 
looked like I saw millions of stars and I fell to the ground. I could have gave up, but I believe that, amen, God, amen, with my strength, God with my will. And I got up, and I don't know what happened, Sister Jackson, but all I know, the people said I went crazy. Amen. And when I got through with him, amen, it looked like he had been in a battle with a giant because the Lord was, I think, I mean, I believe I got up, but the angel was whooping on him because this boy was tore up from the floor. Amen. But I know that if God fights your battle, you're going to win. Amen. God fights your battle, you're going to win. So he said, I finished the race and I kept the faith. A lot of people started on this journey, but they hadn't finished. They started out, amen, on fire, but they hadn't finished. They started out with a lot of will and, 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 and a lot of power, but they fell along the way. But I thank God Paul said, amen, I finished the race and I kept the faith. Amen. You got to keep the faith. You got to keep the faith. No matter who you are, you got to keep the faith. I was looking at the message, and I work on you for the message. Amen. Amen. I was going to use, amen, never, amen, hold on, amen, hold on to your faith. But then the Lord let me, amen, go to never give up. So he said you got to keep the faith. We too can allow the scripture to strengthen us. Amen. To pass on in the race marked out for us. All of us got a race to run. All of us. No matter who you are, you got a race to run. But it's up to you to finish the race. Amen. I've been at Papa Spring now 33 years. I've had ups. I've had downs. I've done some good. And now sometimes I've done some bad. But through it all, I hold on to God's unchanging hand. For our God is both, amen, a promise maker and a promise keeper. Amen. God and will reward those who faithfully finish the race. Now, you got to finish the race. If you remember, I told you a while ago, he said he's going to get a crown of righteousness to those that finish. He said, but not to everyone. Amen. Amen. He's going to give a crown to those that finish. And even some, amen, hadn't even got in the race. God is already, amen, taking care of business, amen. And they will, reward, they will be rewarded as well. So as I get ready to close, I look at the message when he tell us who faithfully finished the race, there is a crown. Faith connect our weakness to God's strength. We need the strength of God to hold on. My brother and sister, this morning, amen, is youth day, and I want to say to the young people, amen, you got a race to run, and there nobody can stop you from winning the race but you. You got to hold on to God's unchanging hand, and you got to remember that if we hold on, we'll make it to the finishing line, amen. There's a line drawn out for all of us, but it's up to you to finish the line. It's up to you to finish the race. God bless you. I love you this morning. And I pray, Papa Spring, that we continue to hold on to God's unchanging hand. I believe, amen, and I don't care what nobody said. I believe God going to work it out that this virus move on. But we got to keep the faith, and we got to keep on holding on. Remember one thing, never give up, no matter what you're going through. Never give up. Never give out. Never give in. Hold on and keep on standing. God bless you. As we get ready to close the day, remember my saying, we're still standing. God bless you, Papa Spring. As we get ready to move forward, there is some things that we need to know, some tips, some ways that we can do what God would have us to do. And as I say all the time, people ask me, in fact, the young man supposed to be here today, want to know how he can give. Well, you can send it through USP mail, or you can load it in the website, amen, 
www.gillify.org. Click on Give. Download Gillify app on your mobile phone. Or add to your bill of pay. Amen. And it will come through the mail. Uh, then we have a, a box on the door, a secure box. You can insert it in the lock box uh, on the church door. Amen. Give. Because really, amen, you can't beat God's giving. I want to thank all of you for what you did last week. And I know you're going to do even better this week because the Lord is on your side. Don't forget, we still have our prayer line. Amen. And the, the, the number to it is 1-339-209-5770. You can call in Wednesday. Amen. Call in around 645. Amen. We start up about 7 o'clock. Amen. And I guarantee you, we have a wonderful time. If you have a special scripture that you like to give, amen, have it ready. Amen. When you tell me who you're praying for, you can say, Pastor, I want to quote this scripture. And we'd be more than glad to listen. Amen. I want you to be praying for our leadership, our country, and our nation. And pray for our president. Amen. We need amen, you to pray. Because certainly the Bible tells us pray for those that have leadership over us. You may not agree with him. You may not agree with what he do. Amen. But we still have to pray for him because he's our president. What if you pray for my sister-in-law, Sister Betty Ponder. Betty, we're praying for you. We love you. We pray that you continue to get well. Pray for Mother Tony. Amen. And my best friend, Brother Fred Lowry, asking that you be in prayer for Fred. Fred is doing much better. He walked a little bit last week, and uh, we thank God for that. And I want you to pray for the Ponder family and Aunt Rose. Amen. She is um, doing a little better. My Aunt Rose had to have a amen, leg taken off. That's my wife, Aunt. But we know that even though she had a leg taken off, the Lord is still on our side. Last thing I want to tell you, we're getting ready for general election. Amen. November the 3rd. November the 3rd, November the 3rd, amen? <laughs> so we're getting ready for general election, amen? We don't tell you who to vote for. That's not our job. But we are telling you, vote, vote, vote. I'm going to tell Sister Jackson, if she can get me a big sign made up, amen, to put outside the road, it's time to vote, amen? We appreciate it, amen? So whoever you are, Amen, wherever you are, don't forget to vote. Please complete, amen, your absentee ballots as soon as possible. Take it up to Memorial Drive. They got two or three boxes. I went there today and drop, went there yesterday and drop it into the box. God bless you. Let me tell you, October is Breast Cancer Month. Also, whether you know it or not, it's Domestic Violence, amen, month. Domestic Violence Awareness. A lot of people don't realize how bad that have become. Amen. Husband and wife and children, mother, amen, are fighting one another. But we want you to know that we need to come together in love and peace and just hold on to God's unchanging hand. Don't forget, October is the month of breast cancer. We're going to be walking with Beulah Baptist Church, my friend, Reverend Brother, Brother Black. Amen. Uh, to show our signs of support for breast cancer. Amen. That's the month of October. Also, don't forget again, as I said, it is, amen, Domestic Violence Awareness Month. So please, ma'am, please, sir, let's keep this in mind. Certainly, amen, you would, amen, be a blessing to help out. As I get ready to close, uh, the children, our youth department, uh, got together last week and had a painting process, uh, program. And they did some painting, and you'll probably see it, amen, this morning on the broadcast. Certainly, I think it's a beautiful thing. We thank God for all of those of you that participated. We thank God for our youth department, and we thank God for you. I want to say to my officers, hadn't seen some of you in a while, God bless you and pastors praying for you. Let us pray and as I end the prayer, we're going to move on. 
Father, we thank you for this broadcast. We thank you for how you blessed us and how you kept us. Papa Spring is still standing, even though we're going through a lot. We've lost loved ones, but Lord, we're still standing, and we praise your holy name for that. We pray now, Lord, that you continue to bless those that are sick, those that are shed in, those who are in the fall that are lonely and depressed. Let them know that you said in your word, all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord, who are called together according to your purpose. There's a purpose for everything, but we do know that it works, amen, for our good. Now, Lord, bless and keep us in Jesus' name. We do pray, amen. Papa Spring, we're still standing. Here we go. He's able. He's able.